This part of the video is kindly sponsored by Yvette Sportswear. They're a new sportswear brand that I have found. I love finding new clothes to wear to the gym because I feel like it gives me that little bit of motivation that I need. And I absolutely love the pieces I've got, the colors, the quality, everything is just beautiful. First off, I have this gorgeous sage green sports bra. I love this so much. This is like a lightweight sports bra. If I'm doing Pilates or something like that, I will wear this because I don't need that super strength support. It still does have good support. If I'm jumping, I feel like, you know, everything stays in place. I don't feel like I'm bouncing around everywhere. And then I have these gorgeous black leggings. They come up to the perfect spot. I find some leggings are too high waist on me. These are absolutely perfect. They're a really, really good fit. I really like them. Also squat proof. You know when you get leggings and they're see-through when you squat? They are not a vibe. These are not see-through at all. All of their sports bras also have removable pads, which I really appreciate. You can take them out of all of these sports bras. I really love the color of this green one. I think it's so cute. And I love the crisscrosses in the back. I think it's such a sweet detail. The quality is really nice. They're really breathable and stretchy. I just think they're so cute. Lastly, I have this sports bra, which I absolutely love. I would definitely wear this with just like a pair of jeans. I love the shape of it. I love this and it feels really nice and smooth it's not see-through as well i feel like i could definitely run in this it feels like supportive and nice i could definitely jog in this so these are the leggings they are so cute i love this set together as well. i think they go really nicely these are super buttery soft and they just kind of glide over the skin and give the perfect amount of support while still being super comfortable these are also squat proof which i know is super important when buying active wear i love everything that i've got from yvette i definitely recommend checking them out all of the links to the things i just showed you will be in the description box and don't forget to use my discount code victoria to save yourself some money hey loves and welcome back to a new video i hope you've had a lovely week and thank you so much for clicking on today's video as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you what I eat in a day to lose weight. I have a few things to say before we get into this video, so let's start with that. I do try and eat in a calorie deficit. I do not restrict myself at all, and I want to make that super clear. Please don't restrict yourself. If you fancy eating a slice of pizza or a whole pizza or a tub of Ben & Jerry's, please do that. Do not restrict yourself. I don't restrict myself. I just try to make better choices, and I definitely follow the 80-20 rule, which is, you know, 80% of the time I will eat really healthy, I'll eat really well, super clean, fresh foods, and then 20% of the time I will eat a tub of Ben & Jerry's. That will definitely happen, but I do try to stick to a calorie deficit most days just because I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight. I have suffered with eating problems before, and I've definitely overcome that for the most part, but I just want to make sure that anyone watching this doesn't take this as a sign to restrict themselves or eat too little or not eat enough calories or not fuel their body everybody is different everybody burns calories different everybody has a different lifestyle you could be a lot more active than me i work from home and i do spend a lot of the time sitting down so i burn less calories if you're in a really active job where you're up walking all the time say you're a waitress or something like that you're going to be burning so many calories and you will need to fuel your body for all the energy that you are using throughout the day I try to be really healthy with my weight loss and I'm not trying to lose massive amounts of weight. I put a stone on over lockdown and I have like four pounds left to lose. So I'm just trying to lose that last four pounds. When it comes to weight loss, please approach it in a healthy, positive way. Don't do binge diets. Don't try and restrict yourself. Don't do anything like that. Just try and eat more clean fresh foods instead of over processed foods and i think following the 80 20 rule has been really beneficial to me so like i said 80 percent of the time i will eat super clean foods so lots of veggie processed foods not mcdonald's not kfc but 20 percent of the time i kid you not i will eat what i want i also want to say that i am gluten intolerant and dairy intolerant so i do slip up and eat things here and there but for the most part you won't see me eating that that is just because i physically can't it makes me feel really bloated and I get a lot of pain in my stomach. I get an upset stomach if I eat dairy or gluten. So that's pretty much why I don't eat it. I would love to have cheesy pizza every single day, but I would feel so awful after eating it because I just physically can't. I am also in the process of trying to go vegetarian. So I'm trying to cut out some meats. I think you do see me eat some salmon in this video, but for the most part, I'm trying to cut out meats. I've started with cutting out red meat and I'm slowly gonna cut back more and more and more. That is pretty much everything I wanted to say. I don't want anyone to watch this video with the wrong mindset or for this video to fuel bad eating habits. Hopefully you see me eating a well-balanced, well-portioned meals. Um, I don't restrict myself. Like I said, if I want sweets, I'll have sweets. The other night I ate like a whole packet of Sour Patch Kids, like the whole packet to myself. And that's fine because 80, 20, the 80 20 rule is honestly amazing. I think it's so good. I think it's such a good way to have a balanced, healthy lifestyle because trust me, if you ate clean 100% of the time, that wouldn't be a fun life. <laughs> Going out to a restaurant and ordering a salad every time doesn't sound like a good vibe to me. Like I said, I like to follow the 80-20 rule. So how I usually do that is during the week, Monday to Friday, I will eat healthy, I will eat clean. And then when it comes to the weekend, 
I'll eat whatever I want. If I want a McDonald's breakfast, KFC for lunch, and then a whole pizza for dinner, I'll do it. <laughs> so that is how I like to follow the 80 20 rule personally. I just find that easier. Um, so yeah, I hope that clears things up. If you are struggling with food issues, please click off this video. I don't mention calories. Just wanted to let you know I do eat in a calorie deficit, but I do not mention calories in this video because I don't want it to be triggering to anyone. With all of that being said, I hope you enjoy. I hope you get some meal inspiration. All the meals I cooked in this video are really yummy. I loved all of them. So I hope you get some new recipe ideas and I hope this helps you out. So first things first is coffee. I just got back from the gym. I'm having my morning coffee. This is the Nespresso. I think it's called the Cities um, coffee machine. I really like it. I've gone through about three or four different coffee machines until I landed on this one. And this is my absolute favorite. It has the milk frother as well. It's all just attached, really cute. It looks really sleek as well, which I love about the coffee machine. So I just use this Starbucks Sumatra coffee capsule with some soy milk in the milk frother and two sugars. And there's my morning coffee. I'll probably have about three or four of these today. Also always have a Barocca in the morning as well. I just love these things. They keep me awake, they keep me alive. Um, so I'll just have one of those. I'm gonna go drink those and go and get ready. You will have to excuse my face, but I've just got out the shower. And I haven't done my hair or anything because I'm going to the gym again later and I'm just doing laptop work today so I don't think I'm going to put any makeup on. But I'm feeling really hungry so I'm going to make myself a smoothie. Smoothies are my absolute favourite breakfast. It's what I do all the time. I always make myself a smoothie. They are my favourite breakfast. I'm not a big breakfast person but I do like to have something in the morning just to get me going. So smoothies are what I usually go with. I pretty much always make my smoothies in the same way. So let me run you through what I put in there. So I'm going to put some ice cubes in there first because I like my smoothies to be really cold. I can't stand a warm smoothie. They really gross me out. Now I'm going to pop in some strawberries and blueberries. I just eyeball this. So just like, you know, like a handful. I try to have blueberries every day because obviously they're a really good antioxidant. I also pop in this summer fruits. I always use frozen fruit just because it's so much easier. And then I love sweet things, so I'm going to put some cherries in. I always like to add some Greek yogurt. Obviously, I'm dairy-free, so I just use this plant-based um, coconut Greek yogurt. I really like it. I add about four tablespoons of that in because I love the creamy texture it gives. And then I also am going to add half an avocado in there. Just squeeze it in. And then I'm going to pop some soya milk in as my liquid. I'll probably add some water in a minute, but I will just let that blend up for a second. So as I said, I like sweet things. So I always put a little bit of honey in my smoothies. I guess about a tablespoon of honey. And then I also add two tablespoons of chia seeds. Chia seeds are really good and they also expand in your stomach so it keeps you feeling full for longer. They kind of taste like uh, the seeds out of strawberries. Um, you can't really notice them. That has pretty much covered my five a day because I've got strawberries, avocado, blueberries, cherries. So four of my five a day are done, um, which is great. I was trying to get a lot of fruits and veggies into my diet. good i'll see you at lunch time. it's just about lunchtime now but i'm not that hungry because my smoothie filled me up so i'm just gonna have a little pita bread thing i've been making these a lot recently i've got some gluten-free pita breads i do have some dairy in this but just swap it out for dairy free so i'm using some philadelphia but just use some vegan cream cheese um then i've got some corn vegan chicken slices a baby pepper cherry tomatoes some cucumber and also some mayonnaise and I swear this is really good and some salt and pepper so let's make this it's really nice this takes literally five minutes and it's also one of those things that you can put in a lunch box as well so I'm gonna take my pita bread I'm gonna get my Philadelphia this is the light version of Philadelphia it's not the full fat one but like I said just um grab some vegan cream cheese it'll be fine I'm gonna squirt some mayonnaise on obviously use vegan mayonnaise if you're vegan I'm just gonna slice my cucumber into little rounds. And then I'm gonna stack these up and I'm just gonna slice them into little bits. So 
So you just want them to be in little teeny tiny pieces like this and then just put it on there. Then the pepper I'm just going to do the same thing with. Just turn it into a little teeny tiny pieces. I'm just going to grab three tomatoes and chop those into little teeny tiny bits as well. This is what it's looking like so far. Everybody always says that the more colourful your plate is, the better it is for you. And this is a very colourful dish right now. I'm just going to add on some of my chicken. I'm going to add two slices on there. Mm -mm -mm. This is like one of my favourite lunches right now. Mm -hmm. I make this all the time because it's so quick. Mm. Really yummy. I'm just snacking on this um, banana cinnamon thing from Grey's. I get these all the time because they're just really good to snack on. They're low calorie as well. And this one's high in fiber. So I'm just having that as a little snack before dinner. So I thought I would do a voiceover because it was so noisy in my kitchen. <laughs> so what I've done is I've just grabbed two salmon fillets. Um, I'm covering one in um, cream cheese. This is my one. Um, it is cream cheese and it is dairy cream cheese. Um, but because I hadn't really had any dairy that day, it was fine. Molly was very interested. So I just took some Philadelphia, spread that on, and then I took some breadcrumbs and just popped those on, um, just to give it like a crispiness to it. It's really nice. Obviously just use like, um, vegan cream cheese and gluten-free breadcrumbs. You can make breadcrumbs really easily yourself. And then I just peel one potato and chopped it up into little bits. If you like, um, uh, what are they called? Potatoes? What are they called? You know, roast potatoes. <laughs> if you like roast potatoes, then definitely do my recipe. I make the best roast potatoes ever. Everybody compliments them. So I just boil them for about 10 minutes until they get soft in some salt. And then I put them in a colander and I really bash them about. I give them a good hard shake until they look nice and fluffy. So as you can see, they've got this fluffiness to them, which really helps with the crispiness of them. I just pop them into a little pan, um, cover them in some olive oil. You can use any oil that you feel like using. And then I just pop on some seasoning, which has got, um, what's it got in there? It's got like an Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. And then I just put them in the oven for about 20 minutes. Here's my dinner. I've got salmon with cream cheese and breadcrumbs and then roast potatoes that I've just seasoned with like salt and pepper, a little bit of mayonnaise and some broccoli. And that is it. I might have a little bit of salad that I just made. This is just some peppers, cucumber, tomatoes, onions. And then I put some apple cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, honey, and salt and pepper in there and just gave it a good shake. And it's really yummy. And then while I was watching a film in the evening, I just had some of these party rings. It's only 83 calories per bag. They're the mini ones. They're really yummy. They're super high in sugars, but they're really nice. And I always like to have a little treat in the evening.